In this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between phenotypic mixing, recombination, as well as reassortment. So we have two types of viruses here, the orange virus, which is non-infective, and the green virus, which is infective. Now, if both of these viruses replicate in the same cell, when the orange virus is replicating, it could use some of the surface proteins from the green virus. So here you can see that the genetic material is retained. They're all orange. Some of the surface proteins are orange, but at the same time, some of the green surface proteins are here present in this virus and so since they have these green surface proteins and you recall that the green virus was infective these viruses can be infective however they retain their genetic material so you can see that everything is orange here all the dna that they have these ones right here they're all orange so future progenies will have everything to be orange orange surface proteins and so these viruses remain non-infective now if there is recombination what it means is that we have a segment of uh, dna and then they undergo recombination with another one so here they would go recombination and give something like this So you can see that this first one, the first DNA here has undergone recombination. Half of it is orange and the other half is green. So these viruses would be able to generate proteins that are green because they've acquired part of the green genome. So they would remain infective in the future generations. And then finally, we have reassortment, and this applies only to segmented viruses. And if you recall, segmented viruses are bore. So Bonia viruses, orthomyxoviruses like influenza virus, arena viruses, and rheoviruses. These are the segmented viruses. And what they can do is that they can shuffle the DNA material like a deck of cards. So here you can see that this virus has acquired one and two green DNA segments, and then the rest are remaining orange. And so therefore, they would still be able to create green surface proteins and remain infective in the future generations. Now, there are two concepts that I would like to explain here, and it's the difference between genetic shift and genetic drift. So influenza virus is a segmented virus. It has eight segmented DNAs. So eight segmented DNA. And if these DNA undergo random mutations, the new emerging viruses would be very infective and thus they can cause endemics. And what endemic means is that uh, they cause more infection than what is usually expected. Now, on the other hand, if these influenza viruses, they shuffle their DNA segments with another species. So let's say swine flu, there is a shuffling of these DNA segments, segments between humans and the swine. And so what happens is that it would cause genetic shift from reassortment of the DNA and it causes pandemics and pandemics is by far more advanced than endemic so it infects many more people because there is no immunity in the in the community and it also causes more death so I would like you to know that genetic shift is caused by reassortment of the DNA segments while genetic drift is caused by random mutations in the DNA so the way I memorize it is drift is like a drill so you drill your DNA and cause a mutation right there. So that's how I memorize that genetic drift is associated with mutations inside DNA. And that concludes our discussion.